Hello guys, uh, today we're going to be teaching you how to replace the uh, LCD screen on your Acer 572G. Um, so the tools you'll need are uh, some type of uh, gift card, credit card, something or other like this. You'll also need a small Phillips screwdriver for this. So um, what you're going to end up doing first is we got to take this bezel off from around the screen. So first off we're going to take our gift card, credit card, whatever and we're going to put it into this right or left edge very carefully until you can get in between the two pieces of plastic here. You're going to work your way down and try and pull out slightly and grip the other end with your other finger so you can kind of try and start prying it apart. Um, yeah, and then once you get the card in like this, start pushing it in, push down, and start pulling out on the bezel. Very carefully though, because these are plastic tabs and they will break if you do not do this correctly. And there we go, we got our first one popped. See, it's kind of just pushed out right there. Oops, I may have actually put it back in. Alright, there we go. So now we've got it starting to come out. So now you're just going to take your card, run it down the edge, pushing very carefully outwards and it will start gently prying apart. You do not want to use too much force. If you are using too much force, things are going to start breaking. So keep going down until you get to the bottom. Okay, now that we've made it to the bottom here, we're going to go back up to this top part where we started and start prying that along this way. Okay, uh, once you worked yourself all the way around, all we have left is the bottom tabs. So what we're going to do for that is we're just going to start prying down here with our card again. Being very careful because there are wires in here. And then once that comes off, you just kind of pull it away from the hinges. It helps to have the door uh, all the way open and just pull that out. And there's our bezel. So we're just going to leave that aside. And uh, now what we're going to do is we have four screws to remove. Uh, there's one right here, there's one right here, here, and here. Okay, this is a top and bottom mount uh, LCD. So what we're going to do is use our small Phillips screwdriver and carefully, well not carefully, just uh, take these out and just be very careful not to lose them as they are very, very small. Okay, so now once you're done taking all the screws out, uh, it's basically free. The screen's free and uh, you just gently grab it from the top where you took the screws out and lay it flat on the keyboard. And then before you remove it anymore, we have this cable we need to undo. Okay, now to undo this cable, basically uh, we have a sticker here. Uh, we're going to have to pull this up with our uh, fingernail or something like that and once it comes up like this you can see the uh, gold connector or whatever and then after that point you're just going to want to gently pull it out this way and it'll pop right out without any uh anything other than that uh we are done with this screen and we're going to take it and put it aside and we're going to bring out our new screen now, this is a 1080p screen, and I'm updating it from my original uh, 768 screen. So this is going to be a boost in resolution. Uh, additionally, this is also an IPS screen, so it's going to be a lot, a lot better colors, and uh, viewing angles are going to be basically unlimited. Now, to put the new screen on, we're going to put it just like the old screen was. Put it right here, and we're going to line up this connector again. Now, once we line up this connector, we are going to plug it in the same way the other one came out. So we're going to get this tape out of the way and we're just going to gently push it in towards where it just was, making sure it's aligned and straight the whole time. And you'll hear an audible click once you get it in. And once it's in, you're going to push that tape back down and stick it. That way the connector does not come loose while it's in your laptop. First off, we got to put this cable and jam it into where it came from right here. So now we're just pushing this cable into these guides where it came out 
and you might have to move the screen forward in order to get it uh, where you need to go and take your screwdriver and lightly just kind of push it into the uh, little plastic uh, holders make sure to hold the screen push it in gently you don't want to damage the cable and right one there's one right here too and under this one now we're going to hold this cable in while we pick up the display and pivot it along that axis until you can hang it on the top two uh, screw racks uh, there's little plastic posts that you put these inside holes into and push the bottom in and uh, make sure the screen doesn't fall and the bottom should be clear of the wires should be inside like so now what you're going to want to do is take your screws starting from the top and start uh, inserting them once you've got all the screws inserted we are going to want to double check and make sure the screen works before we go any farther so go ahead and power on your laptop real quick and it looks like we're getting a display and it's working now after that you're going to want to um, before we put on the bezel there is a screen protector that it comes shipped with so there should be a little red flag on the corner and you're just going to gently peel that off now after we completed that we are ready to put the screen bezel back on so you're going to want to bend this back as far as possible and we're going to take the bottom hinges and place those in first kind of pushing up so they feel like they're tight and then lay it down and then clip these corners right here going all the way around starting from this side go all the way around and just keep pressing with your thumb with your other hands behind it okay now these three edges are secure but we still have the bottom one to do um, for this, I recommend you put your hand behind it and gently do this. And it looks like we're all set and ready to go. And we're going to go ahead and try and turn it on one more time. Everything's working. Let's go ahead and boot into an OS. And uh, it looks like we're all working here. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, comment if you have any questions.